Good morning everyone. My name is Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to ask you a question. In what you've done so far in your life, what you've accomplished, where you are, are you satisfied? Are you where you thought you would be? Are you happy with your life? I ask this because we tend to pretend that everything's all right, that everything is okay, that we're happy with where you, what we are and satisfied. When the truth of the matter is that most of us really aren't, if we ask ourselves that question. Now, there is one approach where you could be happy and glad and grateful for what you have in your life right now, which I think is great because it attracts more to you. And there is another approach which um, <clears throat> asks you to, you know, take a take take an inventory, see what you've done, see where you are, see how you feel in your relationships with um, every aspect of your life. That is actually the first step uh, when I um, when I deal with coaching clients, people that need help in different areas of their lives. I give them a graph where they have to rate each and every aspect of their life on a scale of 1 to 10. And the way this works is that if, let's say, um, uh, let's take a perfect category. Yeah, you have money, finances, um, relationships, romantic relationships. You also have um, other relationships such as family and friends. You have uh, physical fitness, you know, health all those different aspects, emotional well-being. You want to, I, what I do is I get the person to rate it in order to give me a better understanding of where they really need help. Because a lot of times when something is not going well in one area of our lives, it tends to impact other areas. So if you don't have enough money, it will affect your relationship. If you're not doing well in your relationship, it will affect your productivity at work. So. That's how you get to analyze and see where you really are and if you want to grow, if you want to, where you need to grow, in other words. So I would ask that you do the same. Um, take a notepad, piece of paper, and sorry, write out every aspect of your life, okay? Break it down into different categories um, and then rate it from one to 10. Now, once you do that, you rate it from one to 10. One being you're doing really awful, like you're about to lose your job, to 10 being you're getting promoted almost every three months. You understand? So once you do that, I want you to take the piece of paper after you've done it, go back and review those numbers. Anything that is below a seven, needs to, you need to take it and bring it down to a four because See, being somewhat happy is not going to cut it in this life. If you're not 100% satisfied or close to that, at least 75% satisfied with something, then you are also always going to feel resentment and unhappiness when it comes to that area of your life. And the lower the number is, the more likely it is to affect other aspects of your life as well. So, like I said, every number that is below 7 you need to bring it down to a four and you need to focus on that particular area of your life. Whether it's physical fitness, you need to run, run more, walk, exercise, get up from behind the desk. If it's the way you look, then go to the gym on a regular basis, work out. If it's about relationships, then throw yourself out there, go out, smile, look at people in, in the eyes and ask them how they are doing. You will make new friends. You will maybe meet your soulmate this way. Um, if you're doing bad in your relationship, then analyze it. Maybe go see a therapist or talk to a life coach, you see, such as myself. So it's all about taking an inventory, okay? It's about, you know, in, in life, it doesn't really matter um, the reason why things aren't working, the reason why things are. What matters is, are things working? Are they in your favor? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? And if you cannot answer yes, that you're happy or satisfied with an area of your life, then 
it needs to be improved. It's pure and simple because re- when, it, when it comes to relationships, businesses, and everything else in life, it's not 100% constant happiness that matters. It's progress. So if there isn't progress, and I guarantee you that any area of your life can be improved always until the day that you decide to croak and leave this world. It can be improved. So as a result, you need to constantly be bettering yourself. That is the purpose of personal development after all. It's about bettering yourself, becoming a better person every single day. You go, you, you have a better body every time you go to the gym. You feel better every time you eat better. You have an awesome relationship. Well, that relationship needs to be, um, there needs to be growth in it because once there is stagnation, the relationship, business, your body will die. And at that point, that is where you feel the ultimate level of pain when something that matters to you a lot just isn't anymore. So do that little exercise. Ask yourself that question. Are you satisfied where you are right now? And if you're not, at every any level, once you rate it from 1 to 10 on a scale of 1 to 10, you rate each aspect of your life from 1 to 10, and you realize that some some aspect is not at least a seven you need to work on it until it becomes a seven an eight a nine and even a ten now uh, becoming a ten believe it or not is something that will never happen because we grow so once you reach one goal a new one appears but it's not about being satisfied with where you are now. It's not about not being satisfied with it, rather. It's all about knowing that there is much better out there. You can do better, okay? So that's my tip for today. Do it. Let me know your results. You can comment on below. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and hopefully you share it with your friends and family and ultimately you subscribe to my channel for more videos.